Josh, I know you said you went last night, but the line was too long. So. I, it was way too long for us. Uh, <laughs> Nicole and Oscar and I, we waited in line for maybe five minutes, and then we just didn't have the patience to go in. You'll be back. We another will. Another day. We have so much nice weather ahead, right? Uh, we really do. And you know, for the people maybe standing out in line yesterday or maybe even today, these were just a few of the shots from the grand opening. Expecting to hold on to those calm, quiet, and clear skies that still remain over much of the Pacific Northwest. So maybe you're dining out tonight. You can expect to see those temperatures for an early dinner right around 76 degrees or so, and then 65 if you're calling for a late dinner just after sunset as the clouds slowly start to increase. But keep the allergy medication close at hand if you're spending any amount of time outdoors because the pollen count is still on the high side, at least through about Friday. And then Saturday, we'll start to see it dip back. And again on Monday, that's when we expect to see the return of some wet weather force here across the Pacific Northwest with another beautiful live look at the just kind of hazy skies that remain overhead, but plentiful sunshine as we continue to see those temperatures hover in towards the upper 60s. Our winds right now out of the west at about 12 miles per hour. Today, a great pool day for the rest of the afternoon, 71 within about the next hour or so, and expecting to see those temperatures climb back up into the mid to upper 70s by about 4 or 5 o'clock tonight as the high thins here is clouds still remain over our heads with the southwesterly flow right now. We are expecting to see the winds transition a little bit and help push in a little bit more moisture in the form of cloud coverage starting tonight. There you go. Our next storm already spinning and developing over there out towards the Gulf of Alaska taking aim out western Oregon and Washington, and that will be impacting our temperatures. Just look at how low we go Saturday, Sunday into Monday, falling back into the mid to upper 60s. That's well below our average now of about 74 degrees for this time of year. That's all thanks to this upper level low pressure system, a cool pocket of air diving its way out towards the south and east. We're expecting to see that hover over our heads for Friday, Saturday into Sunday. It's not until we get to about the middle of next week that we finally start to see a ridge build back behind that, bringing us some warmer temperatures. But with that trough moving overhead, cooler and wetter weather is in store for us. And we could potentially see maybe a rumble of thunder, a bolt of lightning, maybe even small hail for some of us out towards western Washington, northern Washington as well. And maybe one or two of those could find their way into the northern Willamette Valley. So be mindful of that with our future cast timing it all out with those increasing clouds tonight. We'll see a little bit of sunshine for the start of the day tomorrow before the clouds become a little bit more widespread, helping to cool us back ever so slightly, maybe even picking up a raindrop or two close to sunset before the real action really gets underway. You'll notice a lot of those yellows or oranges and reds, a good indication of the heaviest of the downpours that we expect to see as we work our way into Saturday, filling up the rain gauge through the weekend to a couple of one hundredths of an inch to nearly a quarter of an inch for the I-5 quarter, maybe even three quarters of an inch for the coast. But for today, expecting an afternoon high of about 77 degrees, plentiful sunshine. Soak it up. It's short lived as we fall back to about 49 tonight with those increasing clouds. But for Father's Day, now right around the corner, time is ticking to plan something fun for dad, expecting to see those temperatures in the 60s. But again, if you do have those outdoor activities, Saturday might be a wet one for you. You might run into an isolated thunderstorm or two. So when thunder roars, be sure to head indoors, especially if dad's out there golfing. And then we see slightly drier conditions for Father's Day itself. And then temperatures warm and our skies dry out by next week. I kind of like a thunderstorm. I do too. It kind of makes fun. it a little cozy. Yeah, I mean, switches it up a little bit. It, it does. Know. Keeps yeah. us on our toes. That's what we like. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll be right back.